Hi, I'm Mitchell Lazares, and I'm with the AmeriCorps National Civilian Community Corps, NCCC. NCCC is a team-based residential program for 18 to 24 year olds. More specifically, our team is a fire management and fuels reduction team based out of Sacramento. Today we're working with the Nevada County Fire Safe Council in, with the SNAP program, the Special Needs Assistance Program, helping elderly and disabled low-income citizens in the area. Today we're going to demonstrate the proper way to burn a pile. Before doing a residential burning of burn piles, you must have a valid burn permit. Also, you must check in with the burn information hotline to make sure it's a permissible burn day. Um, another step you must take is to make sure your brush pile is a manageable size, 4 by 4 feet with 10 foot clearance on either side of the burn pile. Now that we've achieved our 10 foot clearance around the entire pile to bare mineral soil and we've made sure that there's no low hanging branches or and a clear space to burn above the pile, um, we are ready to burn. And we've also made sure that there is no trash or any other material in the burn pile that is illegal in the state of California to burn. Um, also we have a water source nearby, a hose. Before lighting your brush pile, it's also advisable to have the proper um, attire. Long pants, proper footwear, gloves, ear, uh, eye protection. Um, also a hand tool, such as a shovel, um, is also good to have for burning. Now that we have the fire going, make sure to watch over it, uh, be cautious of smoke for you and your neighbors, and um, continue to feed the fire until it's completely out. Now it's the end of the day, and you've put on all of your brush that you've wanted to burn, and uh, your fire is down to a pile of ashes, we're going to mop up using water and a hand tool. Make, first, make sure that there isn't any spot fires and the fire is completely contained. To completely extinguish the fire, douse with water, stir, and repeat until dead out. Burn permits are required May 1st. Burning is banned once fire season is declared. Open burn in the fall is allowed after the first soaking rain. Always call air quality hotline to see if it's a burn day. After mopping and raking your pile, use the back of your hand to check for heat in your pile of ashes. If there's no heat, you have successfully done residential burn.